dark. Okay, so I'm in my parking lot of the school. And um, I don't have class today, but I will be at work majority of the day. Um, this morning was a little bit rushed for me, which is why I didn't say good morning. Oh, good morning, home biscuits. Ouch, that kind of hurt my soul a little bit. But um, yeah, so I was rushed this morning and I just needed to get ready and make sure that I got to Mr. CJ school on time which I like had like two minutes to spare before the gate closed so I made it I'm here we're good and I wanted to pick up the camera early morning uh, so I could say good morning to y'all because it feels awkward when I say good afternoon or good night home biscuits because it's, it's like a morning thing and I'm much a much much happier person in the morning for the most part uh, so yeah let's get the day started ah, I'm back home it's uh, 5 5 30 I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna make. Oh, I don't think I bought asparagus. I had this whole meal planned out in my head, but I have Brussels sprouts, so I guess I can do that um, for my lunch. And I think I feel like I need to do a whole new video because something that I'm doing is like a, a keto-inspired um, type of diet. I'm still brand new learning. Literally, it's only been a few days. My sister is full on and she's lost like 12, almost 15 pounds. And um, I was already lowering my carb intake for the most part. So it wasn't that horrible of a transition. But I'm definitely taking it a step further by really looking at carbs even when they are in vegetables and fruits and things that are still good for you. But, you know, keeping that... Um, percentage or ratio um, lower and learning about um, all of that information so that's why I don't feel so comfortable talking about it just yet because I'm still kind of going through that process and don't I don't necessarily have my stamp of approval on it just yet but um, nonetheless like I said I'm going through the process so I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to eat tonight I bought these bacon and cheddar um, hamburger patties uh, from Target and then these Brussels sprouts that I'm probably just gonna put in the oven They're already seasoned. So I'm probably just gonna season the Brussels sprouts with pepper Maybe some garlic and onion powder. Um, I keep my my seasonings pretty basic because those are like my favorite I did do some pork chops yesterday, and I added garlic salt um, Not garlic salt garlic powder onion powder um, a tiny bit of salt I prefer the taste of black pepper if you've been watching my channel for quite some time you know that I love black pepper so I will like just drown everything in black pepper um, but before I wanted to do that so that I can get this started as I talk to y'all because I'm having a rough evening yet again um, yesterday I kind of ended the video pretty late picked up the camera quite late way after my dinner and everything because it was just a hectic day um, and unfortunately I'm still having some behavior problems with Mr. CJ when I picked him up from school today so I had to have a very long conversation with his dad about it and had him to intervene but I don't know how many of you all are single parents or single moms um, I do my best in co-parenting and the relationship between his dad and I are you know, it's been a work in progress, but I think we're at a point where I feel comfortable calling him and telling him, you know, X, Y, and Z with this, whether it's good or bad, and we don't yell at each other, so we're doing pretty good at co-parenting. Um, but he has, like, this intense amount of respect for his dad, and he doesn't have it for me. And I, I think that's, it's like a normal thing, because if, I, I feel like it happens all the time, and and I even look at myself because I was raised by a single mom and, you know, I definitely took a lot of things for granted. I want to get teary eyed for granted that, you know, I see now. And, you know, a lot of people may say, well, you know, it's payback for everything you did and that could possibly be it. Um, but that doesn't invalidate how I feel right now or my frustration or the fact that, you know, I have certain standards of how I want to raise my child and he's just not just you know just basic respect it's just not you know I've taught him that and he you know he's going through this phase right now and you know just some words of advice would be great you know especially for those that probably have already passed through this he's going to be 10 years old I know probably the worst is yet to come when he hits his teenage years but I kind of want to nip it in the butt as much as possible now and just kind of deal with that so 
that's just I just wanted to vent that off my chest it feels so good because I've been going through so much on so many different aspects of levels and this is the part that I missed about vlogging was just kind of just venting to you all who are my friends and listening and um, you know not necessarily all the time giving me the best advice like I want genuine advice am I doing something wrong am I you know, I, I don't know, maybe techniques and tips and, you know, and just say, try this and try that. And maybe just say, girl, just deal with it because you're right. It's, you're, you're paying back everything you did to your mom. That's okay. If that's how it has to be, I'm okay with that. I just, I just feel like talking about it helps me. Um, and I just, just kind of need that confirmation of, am I going crazy? Is this the way it's supposed to be? Or, you know, just just having that conversation one-on-one -on -one. and don't get me wrong I have people that I talk to here my sister's been great to me um she always gives me advice I know she actually just told me the other day while she was at my mom's house and my son was t um, being watched by my mom that she had a pretty lengthy conversation with him about listening and listening t to me and everything that I do for him and that it's not okay what he's how he's behaving and things like that and you know so I know that I'm not alone at this you know, um, but, you know, the more people know about my frustration, the more help I can probably get about it. But anyways, that's enough of that. I had a pretty decent day at work. It was okay. Yeah. You're going to get another bag. It doesn't fit everything on there. Okay. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> He's um finishing a task that I asked him to do. So. Um, yeah, so I was saying that, um, I had a pretty good day at work and it was, you know, productive nonetheless. I can't find the pan that I'm looking for. Um, actually, I washed it. That's where my mind is at, where I can't find something that I literally just washed not too long ago. Um, so I'm going to get this started so that it can cook while I talk to y'all and whatnot. But, um... Yeah, it was pretty productive. A lot of good stuff coming up. Um, I want to make a different video because I feel like this video is going to be a lot of chit-chatting and I don't want to overwhelm you with a video that's just nothing but chit-chatting and get some activity in my vlog. Ay, felicidades, se dice. Mm -hmm. Feliz Día de las Madres. Of course, she only hugs my child. But not me. Yeah. <laughs> not look, at, look at this. You're not going to breathe. If you keep laughing, you'll die. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I think I cut too much. Ma, that's fine. Water. No, no tienes una más no, cortita? Es que corta okay, estos my... chiquitos y los echas abajo. Oh, okay. okay. Or some rocks? You don't have some rocks? Oh, no. Oh, no. but I can get some. It's you great. have some rocks? Mm -hmm. I can get some. Good morning, Home Biscuits. It's Thursday, May 11th. And um, I didn't get a chance to vlog too much yesterday, although I wanted to because it was kind of a special day. I got my transfer cord. I actually still have it in my car. Let me show you. Um, so at my school, they recognize students. Um, 
that are going to transfer from, you know, I attend a community college and we're going to transfer to a four-year um, university. So this is what it looks like. It's silver and you can wear it to identify yourself as a transfer student on the day of graduation. So, excuse me, I just had breakfast. Um, yeah, so it was extremely busy because I had to not only participate in the recognition and things like that and, you know, just I just couldn't get... Um, uh, time to like pull out my own camera and I was taking lots of pictures and I was also taking lots of pictures for my school which I do the social media for so yeah but um, I wanted to share that anyways because it was a really really nice fun day so hey, I'll see you guys in a bit yes baby oh thank you so much you got my laptop okay we gotta go because we are again pushing close on time we're not gonna be late but um, I can't be on here recording forever so I'm gonna head out okay bye we can be Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo and don't forget to subscribe.